Hello everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. This is Dave Jewell from Free Run Speed. Today I'm going to talk about the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. I bought this shoe because about six weeks ago I was out running with our son in the very dark forest on a bike path and my left foot hit the edge of the bike path and I went flat down on my face. Ankle was just totally trashed. I started running about three weeks after that, which was essentially three weeks ago. And I knew I needed a shoe that maybe took a lot of the pressure off that ankle and the entire joint itself. So that's why I chose this shoe. I thought the the rocker and the stiffness in the in the shoe plus the exceptional cushioning would be the answer i watched a video uh i think it was on running warehouse with my friend and uh product lead at new balance danny orr and he described this shoe and one of his descriptions was when you first run in it you're gonna feel that the midsole is a little bit firm and but once you run in it for a while it's going to soften up and you're going to realize the pleasure of running in it those are my words not his i was just paraphrasing what he had said and i totally agree when i first bought this shoe and put it on and started running in it i almost questioned my decision like what is this shoe but I stuck with it and probably two runs later, it was like butter. It was smooth and quiet and soft and everything that Danny said it would be. Let's talk about stack height because that's the prevailing feature of this shoe. It's 47 millimeters in the heel, which is that's Bondi like. It's 39 in the forefoot, makes it eight millimeter offset. The midsole is fuel cell. Fuel cell you find in the Rebel, fuel cell you find in the, the Elite, which I think is gonna become the SC Elite or Super Comp Elite. Fuel cell is what you find in their performance running shoes. And it is soft, resilient, and actually quite durable. This Super Comp also has a carbon plate that is designed specifically to work with this shoe, to work with this stack height. What I will tell you, and this is the, I think the great thing about the New Balance shoes, is that in some of the shoes with carbon plates, you can actually feel the plate. You can feel the plate when you're running. With New Balance shoes, you know the plate is there. They've done a very good job of making sure it is not the feature of the shoe. It is a component to make the shoe feel really good, but it is not the single feature that describes what this shoe is. And I think that's a great aspect of New Balance shoes. You'll see this big channel in this shoe and the other super comp shoes. It's not unique to New Balance. A lot of brands have used similar channels. Two things that it does. One is it, uh, it cuts weight. This shoe is already pretty heavy. It would be much heavier if that was completely filled in with foam. And the second thing is that it evens out the transition. So it makes, it doesn't matter how your foot lands on the shoe you're gonna get a, a smooth transition through the forefoot. The upper, uh, it's, it's an engineered mesh, it's very soft. It's a booty construction or se semi-booty construction. The, the tongue is, is gusseted. This heel fit is outstanding. Really like what New Balance is doing here. Super soft up here around your ankle, but locks you in place. 
So I measured this shoe against the Bondi that I have. And the, the base net right here is probably three to four millimeters narrower across the forefoot than the Bondi. Conversely, if you do that same thing with the Endorphin Pro, the Endorphin Pro is almost equally as less across the forefoot to the Supercomp trainer as the Supercomp trainer is to the Bondi. So basically what that means is through your forefoot, you're gonna get a much better platform on your daily training runs than you would in a race day shoe like the Endorphin Pro, but it's not so much like the Bondi is. All right, I talked about the weight. Um, it is a hefty shoe, it's 11.2 ounces in this size nine. And if you are set on, you have to run in something under 10 ounces, this shoe is not for you. But if you just get your head away from it being 11.2 ounces, just go run in it. And you'll find out if it feels really good and the longer you run, the better it feels. It, you won't notice the 11.2 ounces and you shouldn't. If you're doing long training runs, it shouldn't matter how much weight is under your foot. It should matter how fresh your legs feel when you're done. And I think that's where this shoe comes in. You go out there and do a 10, 12, 14 mile run and your legs are gonna still feel fairly fresh. You'll, you'll get the fatigue from the run itself, but you won't get the pounding that you would in other shoes. This is not the only shoe of its kind. This is a very maximal cushion, carbon fiber plated training shoe. But you'll see Adidas has one with the Prime X. Hoka has one with the Bondi X. So this is New Balance in the game. I, if you're looking for the most cushion you can possibly get with some performance aspects, I don't think you can go wrong with this super comp trainer. Like I said, whatever, however Danny described it, it is soft, it runs quiet. You just roll along on your long run. You don't even notice the shoe. I did take it on some trails didn't have an issue, even with my bad left ankle, it's still not 100%, but I didn't have any issues. So thanks a lot for watching. Super Comp Trainer, available everywhere.